Hi, I'm Sonny from Loreforged, and this is the first of a four-part series on node types. I haven't been to work in a few days, so I said screw it to shaving, and I can neither confirm nor deny that there is Baileys in my coffee. We're gonna start with divine nodes. Well, why this one first? I gotta be honest, this one I knew the absolute least about, and there is a reason for that. Everyone knows the least about divine nodes. Disclaimer, I am not a particularly religious person. However, according to the internet, 84% of the world's population believes in religion in some sort of way, so that's a lot. Not a terrible thing to include in a game, in my opinion, but your mileage may vary. I personally think it's actually kind of cool if the lore supports it, and in Ashes, it does. But not just any religion. We gotta start with temples here. So temples are a unique service building, allowing particular focuses to be obtained there. Well, what kind of focuses? Faith, faith focuses and skill slash equipment focuses. Okay, we've said focuses a few times, but what are focuses? I have no idea. I really, really tried to find this out. They use the word focuses a lot and I tried. I just cannot figure it out. The best I can tell is that there is a thing called spell focuses, which is like an item that you can carry with you that will enhance your spell casting. What I do know is that unique service buildings across the different types of nodes allow focuses specific to the type of node. So my guess is that there will be abilities that will enhance your faith production, things like favor, other stuff like that that just generally gives you bonuses based on the flavor of the node that you're at. Divine node. So temple, the only place to get your divinity focuses. Back to the religious thing. Okay, we know about the others. If you don't know about the others, then I suggest that you go watch a video from Cash from Loreforged because he's real good at explaining that kind of stuff. Or you can do a quest line to find a darker form of worship. Can we say black sacrament, anybody? Priests are gonna be walking around, just NPC priests, because, well, priests got a priest. And favor is the currency. This makes a lot of sense. Pass the collection plate, get some favor. Life is good. Afterlife is probably good too. Now to the good stuff. Okay, if you get to Metropolis in the Divine Node, we are talking Mega Catacomb. <laughs> what is a mega catacomb? Well, a mega catacomb is a procedurally generated catacomb underneath the metropolis that will connect you to all of the other vassal divine nodes. Procedurally generated. We got to start with procedurally generated. What is procedurally generated? It means that a computer algorithm is designing it rather than an artist putting in the assets. If you don't know of a good example of this, Take a look at No Man's Sky, procedurally generated. Also, if you have not seen the video, The Engoodening of No Man's Sky on YouTube by the internet historian, you have got to check that out. It is probably in my top five greatest YouTube videos ever made. It is amazing. And it tells the story of what happens with a procedurally generated world. It also tells the story of what happens when you overpromise and underdeliver, which we are all kind of hoping that Ashes does not fall into. So No Man's Sky, Ashes, plenty of conversation right there. Back to the catacomb. Inside this procedurally generated catacomb, you can have mob bosses, and loot tables that could be different and procedurally generated. I don't know about the mob bosses, maybe, but the loot tables certainly could be different. Is this gonna be procedurally generated like on the server or is it gonna be procedurally generated every time you go down in it? Or is it gonna be procedurally generated once for all of the servers? I don't know. These are great questions. We really just don't know, but that is kind of fascinating and very unique to divine notes. 
And that's kind of it for Divinity Notes. We don't know a lot, but just the foundation of it sounds pretty cool. It is certainly something to attract players of that particular type of gameplay. And maybe, you know, maybe that's the most PvE node of all of them with that whole mega catacomb thing. I'm Sonny from Loreforged, and I'll see you in the catacombs. There's definitely Baileys in here.